how do we typeset the units for degrees Celsius and degrees Fahrenheit using LaTeX? Well, we're gonna take a look at a custom approach, including our own custom commands that require no additional packages. However, I also wanna introduce you to the incredible package SI Unit X, which will make typesetting units effortlessly. In addition to that, I will show you how to declare the unit for degrees Fahrenheit using this package because Fahrenheit is not an SI unit. Enough talking, let's get teching. Okay, let's get started with a new blank project. I'm gonna give it the name formatting degree Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now we can go ahead and create this, let the project load up into our window and zoom in on our document. Uh, we're only gonna be taking a look at a few lines of text today, so we'll make it nice and big. I'm going to suppress the uh, numbering of our sections with star, and our first section is gonna get the title, Custom Approach. And this is gonna be the approach if you're just getting started with LaTeX, or you don't wanna load any additional packages, it's gonna be great. However, I also want to introduce you to the SI Unit X package, which is super fantastic, especially if you're using a lot of units in your work. And now that we have things set up, we can focus on the custom approach. So let's say I want to typeset 42 degrees Celsius. I type in 42. I can make use of the text superscript command, giving it the argument O for the degree and then uppercase C. And it actually looks quite good. Uh, however, if I try to place this inside a math environment, okay, not so good. Uh, it's a little tight for spacing and the C has been italicized. So we're gonna go ahead and try and fix this up so that it works in math mode as well. Ooh, uh, and I'm gonna have to fix the indentation here. Let me get up into the preamble really quickly here. I I'm going to use the command set length and the first argument we're going to pass in here is parindent, which I want to set to zero points. So I'll place that in as the second argument and that should fix things up for us. Great, everything is aligned to the left. Now we can focus on dealing with that spacing issue and that italicize C within the math environment here. So that's quite easy to fix. We're gonna use a backslash comma for the spacing issue and maybe for consistency, I'll do the same thing for the text here. And then we can deal with that uppercase C. And that's gonna be easy to do as well because I can just pass the uppercase C as an argument to the text RM uh, command, which will typeset it using case Roman. Uh, but we're not done with this yet. Uh, we are going to make that degree much prettier by making use of the circ command that's used to typeset the composite function operator. And we're gonna pass that into the ensure math uh, command. Now that's a lot to type, a lot to remember. So we're gonna create our new custom command called deg c. Now it's gonna have one argument to begin with and we're gonna take that argument followed by our space. So that's gonna be backslash comma. We're then gonna use the text superscript command providing it the argument of our degree. And remember we have a fancy command for this now. It's circ and then placing that within the ensure math command. We're gonna follow this up with our uppercase c which is a typeset using a Roman case. And there it is, our new command to typeset a number with the units of degree Celsius. So for example, I could now use the command deg C, place my 42 as the argument to it, and it typesets it. That's pretty awesome. And it also works in a math environment. And it works. Now, what if you want it to be a little bit more intuitive? So you just wanna type in your number and then just have the command to typeset the units for degree Celsius. Well, that's an easy fix. We're gonna copy our previous deg C command and just remove the argument. So now when I use the deg C command, it's just gonna typeset the units for degree Celsius. So I should remember also to comment out our first instance of that deg C command. So now I type in 42 followed by our deg C command and it 
works again, just as expected. So our deg C is now just typesetting the units. This is what I used for years and it worked fine until I found the SI unit X package. Wow, this thing is incredible, especially if you're typesetting a lot of units. So we are going to use package SI unit X. And based on what we've just done with our custom command, this is quite intuitive. We're going to go 42, use the command unit and provide it the argument, which is backslash degree uppercase C Celsius. And it's able to typeset our units of degree Celsius for us. We could also provide it the command num with our number 42, followed by the command unit again with the degree Celsius command for the unit degree Celsius. Now there is a shortcut for writing the num and unit commands. It is called the quantity command, that is QTY, where the first argument is the number, our case 42, and the second argument is the units, in this case, degrees Celsius. And we see here that that typesets it for us. We're just going to go ahead and fix the spacing on the second line there so that they are consistent. Now, degree Celsius with that uppercase C is a lot to type. So let's go ahead and create a new command for that. I'm going to call it, well, you guessed it, deg C. And all it's going to do is map to the degree Celsius command. And that will save us a little bit of typing. Uh, I just need to remember to comment out our previous um, use case of degree Celsius. What that will allow me to do then is make use of the quantity command. And instead of typing in degree Celsius as the unit, I can now just type in deg C and everything works as expected. And yes, it will work in a math environment as well. Now that we have degrees Celsius all under control, what about degrees Fahrenheit? Well, the SI unit X package is built for SI units and degrees Fahrenheit is not an SI unit. However, there is a way to declare our own units uh, using this package. So we are now going to declare our own unit for Fahrenheit. We're going to move up into the preamble where we'll be able to declare our new unit. So I am going to use the command declare SI, that's uppercase S, uppercase I unit, that is uppercase U. And we're going to give this unit a command degree Fahrenheit, keeping in the same schema as the degree Celsius. And then I'm going to declare it using backslash unit with the argument backslash degree, that's the actual degree, followed by an uppercase F. And now we can actually use this uh, just like we'd use degree Celsius. So I could go QTY, put in my 42 as the number argument, and then the backslash degree uppercase F Fahrenheit, and it typesets 42 degrees Fahrenheit. And let's just go ahead and make sure that it works in a math environment. It does, super fantastic. Now, if you're like me, Fahrenheit is really difficult to spell. So I'm gonna create a custom command that matches our degree Celsius unit command called degf. I'm gonna go up into the preamble, again, create our new command here, uh, which is called degf, and we're gonna make use of the command that we just defined, which was degree uppercase Fahrenheit. And that will allow me to use that short command for degrees Fahrenheit. One last time, let's make sure that it works in a math environment. It does. I'm excited. My name is Mark. Thank you for watching.